Good morning, everyone. It's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Ariana Newcomer, Dove Oracle Priestess. And my topic today is taking in the good. And I was reminded of this practice, which is a really valuable one. You know how you can learn things and you know it's a really great tool and then you just forget about it and somehow it's gone somewhere. This is one of those and it came back around for me in teaching the last module of the Wise Woman Immersion. And I had added this into the program because it's so simple and it's so easy to do. And this comes out of this book, Hardwiring Happiness, which is by Rick Hansen. And of course, it's, it's a big book and it has a lot of great information about the brain and how our brains work and uh, more, more ideas about how to use this practice. But it, when you boil it down, it's a really very simple thing. Our brains are generally hardwired to pay more attention to what is negative than to pay attention to what's positive, which generally is accounted to uh, survival. So it's more important for us to pay attention to what might kill us than to pay attention to just what is so enjoyable and lovely. And yet that can then create a kind of negativity bias overall in our brains. And this is a simple practice that through the wonders of what's called neuroplasticity, which is our brain's ability to rewire itself and to learn and change and grow throughout life. No, we don't just lose brain cells after about age 24, the way they used to teach us. Our brains are actually capable of learning, growing new neurons, creating new neural pathways, creating new connections all throughout life. We just have to give them the right stimulus in the right amount and over the right period of time. So meditation in and of itself does this. It helps to rewire our brains. But a mindfulness meditation practice in and of itself isn't going to give us this little nudge towards positivity, which creates more happiness. And when we're happier, we are more successful. We tend to take action towards our goals. We tend to be kinder with our loved ones and all kinds of other benefits of being happier. Blood pressure goes down, uh, health is better. And so I'm offering you this simple practice, especially as we're going into the holidays, which can be very enjoyable and very stressful at the same time. Because we're usually gathering with our families and our families can be the people who can trigger us the fastest of anybody on the planet. <sighs> so when we use this practice of actually taking in the good, not just letting it go right by, but actually taking it in, then we're going to have a better time with the holidays. And we're going to have a better time as we go into 2019. This is going to be a great practice for you to carry into 2019. And um, this is not just papering over grief, hurt, sadness, etc., with positive thinking. Uh, it's not about, uh, and, and this is something that I've talked about, I think, in the past, spiritual bypass, which is using techniques to kind of cover over or not deal with our own inner shadow and the parts of ourselves that we really need to work with and uh, bring more into harmony and alignment. So this isn't about just papering over things like grief. It's a really simple practice when it just comes down to it. We're going to take just five to 10 seconds. When we experience something good, peace, contentment, love, beauty, accomplishment, to really bring the positive thought into the brain and stay with it for just that five or 10 seconds and soak it in. So you can think of it as like breathing it in, taking it in the good, breathing it in, and then letting that good just kind of flow through the whole body, all of our energy systems, our physical body, and allow our emotions 
when we have those emotions of grief or hurt or sadness to just flow through and then return our attention to the good things again. So this isn't about denying stuff. We're using positive experiences to transform our brains. And uh, Rick Hansen gives this sort of lovely uh, uh, metaphor for what this is, is like. He says, our, your mind is like a garden. And there are three things you can do. Number one, just look at its weeds and flowers without judging. Number two, you can pull weeds. Number three, you can grow flowers and vegetables. So the f number one, just looking at it without judging is just being with it, just observing. That's like mindfulness meditation, which has a lot of benefits just by itself, just observing. Number two is decreasing the negative in your mind. So letting it flow. And number three is increasing the positive in your mind by actually paying attention to what is positive and really bringing it in. And he says, as your mental garden fills with flowers, there's less room for weeds to grow. So doing this just five or 10 times a day is, is a really, really lovely thing. And it's very important, as, as Rick says in this book, that we have to make sure we're allowing the experience to flow. So as soon as we try and hang on to it, it's not gonna work. But that's one reason for only doing it five or 10 seconds at a time, so we can let it flow. So here's what to do. You can notice the good things like, oh, beautiful decorations that are up at this time of year. Uh, today here, it's a beautiful sunny day. And I noticed when I went out to feed the chickens this morning, all the little green sprouts that are growing here in California, we only have rain a few months a year. So for many months in the summer and early fall, it's very dry and the grass is brown and uh, you know anything you wanna keep growing in the vegetable garden and my flowers have to keep watering them. But as soon as the rains begin, it's miraculous how fast those dormant seeds that have been in the ground start to grow. You can almost see the grass growing. It, it can grow this much in five days, four or five days. So taking in, taking time to notice, wow, look at all these beautiful sprouting seeds, these things growing. And taking that in, taking the, ch the time to actually bring that in, sink it in, let it sink into my brain. So you can notice something that is beautiful and this all you can also actually imagine something. You can think of an experience that you had in the past that was really beautiful, a friend that you love, a family member that you love, a time that you had a wonderful experience with your child. And just breathe that in for five to 10 seconds. You can see and feel good about your own abilities your sense of fairness, your compassion, sense of humor, ability to be a good friend, your honesty, your warm heart, your patience, your determination, your integrity, any of those abilities, the ability to make people laugh. Take that in. Give yourself credit for that. We have a hard time often as humans, we're taught not to be arrogant and, and not to think too much of yourself taking in our good um, aspects, our good qualities. So that's another thing you can do. And then you can uh, remember a beautiful place in nature that you love, a trip that you took, or you can imagine something that hasn't even happened yet. You can just imagine something new, something that is good. And now I, I like what Rick Hansen says about um, good and bad, and let me find this in my notes for you. Uh, by positive and good, he means what leads to happiness and benefit for oneself and for others. And negative and bad means what leads to suffering and harm. So these are just very pragmatic definitions without a lot of uh, 
religious meaning loaded up on top of them, spiritual meaning, uh, moral meaning loaded up on top of them. So something positive is something that is going to lead to happiness and benefit for yourself and for others. So I invite you to just take a deep breath, put your hands on your heart, close your eyes and think of something really positive and good something that recently happened to you, something beautiful, perhaps there's something beautiful you can see right in front of you right now. You might have a beautiful painting or decoration in your room. You might remember a time when you felt just very, very loving and happy or a trip that you took that was fabulous and delightful. Or imagine having all that you want in 2019 and take just these few seconds and take a deep breath and let's breathe in that positive feeling, sensation, memory. Breathe it in and actually take it in. Feel that goodness, the positivity wending its way throughout your entire body and into your brain. And as you do this several times a day, this is going to actually rewire your brain for happiness. So I hope you have wonderful holidays. I hope you have an opportunity to use this practice. Great thing to do right before you head for that family gathering. And remember to do it with your family members, perhaps especially the ones that can be the most annoying. Think about something about them that you can appreciate that is positive and good and breathe that in. So have wonderful holidays. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.